Good evening, everyone. We begin tonight with a major change in who is eligible for a job in this country. For the first time, Canada is capping the number of new temporary residents arriving here, including low-wage foreign workers. There are currently 2.5 million temporary residents in Canada, representing about 6% of the population. That's a surge of about a million in just three years. CTV's Judy Trin on the reason for the pivotal policy change and which sectors facing critical labor shortages are getting an exemption. Record lineups at food banks and shelters across Canada. Many struggling to make ends meet are being passed over for work. 1.2 million Canadians out of work and a 650,000 vacancy. So what it, why is that? There's an issue of skills mismatch, geography mismatch. People are not actually reaching out to Indigenous people, to persons with disabilities, to women, to racialized women, to, to us LGBTQI people. To push businesses to hire domestically, the federal government is limiting the number of people who can be hired from outside Canada. Starting in May, employers will have to rely on fewer foreign workers. Only 20% of a company's staff can come from overseas, down from 30%. Only the housing and healthcare sector, which have big labor shortages, are exempt from the new cap. The agricultural sector also won't be impacted for now. There's always more that we can do to support a successful immigration to Canada and notably ensure that those who choose to make this their home are set up for success. The policy is expected to benefit new immigrants, refugees and asylum seekers, among them 300,000 Ukrainians who have arrived in Canada since Russia's invasion. Analysts say newcomers often lose jobs to foreign workers hired at cheaper wages. Part of the reforms here is actually making sure that, that immigrants to Canada have an opportunity to participate in our economy and, make sure that, and to ensure that they and their families can thrive. But the group representing migrant workers say they're being scapegoated for economic woes when they need protection. They're being abused by their employers, they're being mistreated by their landlords because they don't have permanent resident status. Earlier this year, the federal government capped the number of international students. Combined with this cap on foreign workers, the government hopes to reduce the number of temporary residents to 5% of Canada's population by 2027. Omar. All right, Judy, thank you.